everybody. We have a craft project we're making today. I know I'm in the bar, but this is the best place for me to work on these. I've done them in the past and they turn out really cute. It's candles. I'm decorating candles. Now this is an older candle I had and I do not like the color of it, so I'm adding some decoration to it. And I can set this outside in a candle holder and it will look cute next to some greenery. So that was made simply with a cocktail napkin. Now, like many of you, I love cocktail napkins because you can really decorate a table setting or your appetizer table with cocktail napkins. And this is a cocktail napkin that I used and I'll show you what we're going to do. I have several choices of napkins and I have several sizes of candles because you can use any size candle to make this craft project. I have these I love this size because you don't feel like you're wasting a lot like these large candles many times you just burn them down for a short period of time and then they get to the point where you don't like the look of them now these candles you can burn them down and you know for a dollar dollar and a quarter a dollar and tree or I got this size at Hobby Lobby yes Hobby Lobby and you can even use tapers. Now, if you have some and want to cover the entire taper with a specific color cocktail napkin, this is beautiful. So I will show you what to do. Now you can either use a hairdryer or you can use your heating tool for crafts if you have one. If not, you can get those, I think, at Hobby Lobby as well. Any craft store usually has those heating tools. But a hair dryer works just as well, and if you already have that, use it. The only difference is this has a handle and a craft heater does not, which I prefer the hair dryer. So that will work also. I brought this in case I have a cocktail napkin that's a little stubborn. You can use your iron. The secret though is, I'm going to set this down. The secret is you have to use parchment paper. And that's what we're using here, parchment paper. You just tear it off a piece and I'm going to show you the whole process in just a moment. So grab some parchment paper, a candle, cocktail napkin and a heating device whether it's a hair dryer a craft heater or an iron and oh yeah get a pair of scissors because we're going to cut out the design and what else I think that's it so let's get started let's move a few things out of the way so what I plan to do is decorate these two smaller candles because I'm going to make a tablescape using some, some of the elements that you saw in a tablescape I made last summer. And you'll remember that I used a whole lemon theme. Well, I'm kind of making a similar lemon theme, but I'm using different placemats. You'll remember I used these glasses. These are... Let me find one for you. These are vintage Vera Newman napkins that I've had. They are, they have a sunflower design on them. So I have those with the lemons and the green. So I'm going with the green and lemon, <laughs> lemon. I'm going with the green and yellow theme. And I am going to use cocktail napkins that I have that are lemons. So I'm going to cut out these lemons and place them on the candles. And then if I want to decorate around them, I'll use some type of greenery. I think lemon leaves that I can scavenge off of my lemon tree. I have a lot of napkins and I just pulled a few out of my napkin collection to show you what I'm doing. Now this was the cocktail napkin that I showed you that I've used for the bird and with the flower on it. However, I also have a coordinating napkin that I can use. So if I want to put this large candle in the center of the table and put shorter ones around it with this design, it's all coordinated. I just love the idea of mixing and matching those designs. I have 
these zebra napkins. These are Caspari and I fell in love with these napkins as soon as I saw them. Look at this. The zebra print on that is fabulous. I'm gonna use this zebra napkins on a very large candle and just set it on a side table for decoration. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love those. Those are some of my favorites that I've run across. Now these are made by Elise and it's the Macbeth collection. And look at that, you do not have to match the design, so you could do the entire taper with one design, look at that. Wouldn't that be incredible? Ah, can't wait to do that. We're not doing all those today, we're just gonna do one or two to show you what's possible. These are another favorite. Look at the parrots on these. So colorful, so beautiful. And the secret to some of these designs is you have to get a candle that is either light or dark. For instance, if I was gonna use this pattern, which I don't know who makes these, I think maybe Caspari makes these as well, I would cut out this dark part that has looks like peacocks, I'm not quite sure. Put it on a black candle because you're gonna to have too much black background to do it maybe on a white candle, and especially if you're gonna cut out areas. Well, we are going to do that right now. And remember, we have this parchment paper. I'm gonna get my scissors and we're gonna cut the lemons to be used for these candles. The secret here, and these are well-known secrets, there's nothing that a lot of us don't know who have done this in the past. You take the napkin apart. Some napkins have one ply behind the design and some have two. So if you get napkins, make sure to look and make sure you get all the plies apart because you want the thinnest possible paper. And this one only had one behind it. This one had two. So I'm looking to make sure. No, there's not another, it's just the one. We are gonna trim these lemons out and put them on the candle. Now I. I think I'm gonna leave, I don't know if you can see it, and I'll try to put a picture for you. It has writing in gray and white. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna just use the lemon individually or use this beautiful writing that's done in gray and put it around the candle. So let me see what I can do with that and maybe make each of them slightly different. So take your napkin, pull the backing off of it, and get this thin, thin part of the paper napkin. At the end of the video that you're watching now, I'm gonna put the video from this last tablescape I made using some of these pieces. And you might enjoy seeing that, especially since it's now spring and summer and we are decorating for those occasions that come up during spring and summer. And I will link below anything that you see that I can find the link for. Like these jeans are free people jeans and they are not current, so it could possibly be that I can't find those, but like I usually do, if I can't find it, I'll put something very, very similar. So what I am doing now is trimming this, and I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna see what it looks like after I've trimmed it and see the width of the paper. So see with a white candle and this white paper, there's not a lot of contrast. So it works out perfect. I could wrap it like this and keep that stripe at the bottom, but I'm not sure that's what I want to do. Let's keep working with this.
cut off the contrasting border on here to make it look a bit more like it's part of the candle because you really don't want it to look like a cocktail napkin wrapped around a candle do we we want it to look like something that we have created that is custom made just for our tablescape I can either do it this way, or let's see what else I can do here. I'm gonna cut out individual lemons and try that as well. Now, we have our candle. I have three lemons cut out of our napkin. And we're going to place this do I want the stems of the lemon up or down? Let's see which looks best. I'm going to do, I think I'm gonna put the stems down and have the lemons like this. Oh, I like this, this is cute. Very cute. Now, what I'm going to do is take the parchment paper and I'm going to wrap it around the candle. and make sure your, your design is exactly where you want it. And you can see through the parchment paper. So you'll be able to tell. I'm gonna move this lemon down just a bit. There we go. And you'll remember when I made this candle, I just had the candle lying on the counter and I put the parchment paper on it and I heated it. Well, that's because this candle is much wider and will stay in place. These small candles, however, don't want to stay in place. They want to roll so easily. So watch what I'm gonna do because this is somewhat important. I'm going to make this so it's like a handle because the hair dryer or your heating tool will get hot and then you're gonna burn yourself and if I burn myself, you're gonna hear me cuss. <laughs> so <laughs> here we go. It's starting to melt. What happens is the, the wax melts and actually melts through the paper and it looks as if the paper design is decoupaged onto the wax. And actually some of the napkin designs are so thin it, the design actually melts into the candle. Those are the best. If you can do that, that is what you're looking for. But some of them will not do that. Now I'm going to set it down because I have those in place, but I want them to melt in a little bit more. Now I'm going to get that to stick even better. Let's see what we have. You may have to use the iron if it doesn't stick and melt just like we want to. Okay, see how that's sticking up? That did not melt like I would like. So what I'm gonna do next is use the iron. One of the problems that you have is that you want the heating element to be hot, but not so hot that it will melt your candle all the way down. You want it to melt just enough. Okay, let's do a bit of touch up on this. And remember to make that handle 
I don't want to say anything that's going to upset you two because they don't, they don't want to hear it. See, I don't know if you can see where it's melting through, but this is better. Uh, this particular paper was a bit thicker than some of the other napkins I've used. So I knew I was going to have to have a backup on it. Oh yeah, this is working great. You can see how that lemon is coming through the parchment paper right in that area, right there. That's what you're looking for. Okay, now let's see what we have. Oh, that is so perfect. You can sort of see where this has melted a bit at the top, but that's easy to fix. You can use a nail file and file it, or just, this is just scraping off. This is where the wax has melted through the lemon and onto the top. Now, this is a wonderful idea also for those LED candles that you just have the remote control and turn them on and they don't have to have an open flame. One thing you have to remember though is to get the LED candles that have the wax finish on the outside, not the simple plastic ones. And then you can coordinate your candles, whether they're real candles with a wick and an open flame or it's the LED lights perfectly coordinate for a party. Oh my, there's nothing better. Look at this. We have our lemon candle. That is going to be cute, cute, cute. Let's see. Uh-huh, I like that. I wanted to do this and do this one slightly different, but I love that so much. I think I'm gonna do the same for this candle. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the candles match. Sometimes I like things to be different and an odd combination, but in this case, I think I want the lemons to overlap like I did on the other. So I'm just gonna quickly trim this up. And remember, since it's a white napkin on the background, it does not have to be perfect. Uh, the only place I noticed that it had to be perfect is that center one. If not, you might have some white show through on the yellow. Let's see. Which lemon? I like this one. Let's do this one. So you can take inexpensive candles and inexpensive cocktail napkins and you can totally coordinate any brunch, luncheon, dinner party, whatever you want to and it will be as if you hired a decorator to do that but it's all your work. And you'll have the bragging rights to this if you do it yourself. Someone asks you where you got these, if you want to tell them I did it myself, then you have those rights. And you know with all these bridesmaids, luncheons coming up, baby showers, whatever it is you have to decorate for, you can use any theme that the bride or mother-to-be wants you to use or that you decide on and make it a very special occasion. So we have that, and we put the stems down on that. So let's put the stems down on this one as well. Get all of our giblets out of the way so they don't blow everywhere. 
and you can see how fast this process goes. So if you have a table with 12 chairs, you can put 12 candles if you want, and you have a total cost of maybe $20. And it is perfectly, perfectly coordinated with everything you have on your table. So let's do the iron again. Since it worked for this one, it should work for this one as well. Same type of candle. Same, I was making sure that I had the wick up. I didn't want to do it upside down. Same type of candle and same napkin. Like I say, sometimes they're easy to do with the hair dryer. Sometimes not, but it does not get on my iron. Now, I have a Teflon iron here, so maybe that makes a difference, but I don't have any wax on the iron. It's all transferring to the parchment paper. I have some of the waxed LED lights that are outside of my lanai. However, they're in lanterns, so I don't want to over decorate and decorate the candles and have them in a lantern, but you know, it certainly is tempting because I love decorating. I don't want to overdo it though. I'm sure if you saw my entire house, you might think it's over decorated, but and that reminds me, I might do a tour of my home, walk through each room, I'll give you a peek in each room. I don't think you want to see every little square inch of it, but I might do that this summer. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you would like to see a tour of my house. Like I said, I would just do a sneak peek of each room, but it wouldn't be a super long video. So leave that comment on my comments for this video and I'll be looking for it. Let's see what we've done here. Oh yeah. I'm going to do it one more little spot there. Let it melt really good. I have it turned down pretty low. I can turn the heat up and do this in a flash, but I didn't want to overheat the candle and melt the edges. So you have to think about all those little details. But once you've done this for two or three times, you know how to do it. And then you can teach somebody else. Pass this craft along. Let's see what we have. There we have it. Our lemon candle. So cute. Now let's go outside and get some lemon leaves. I want to show you the lemon buds. There are the ones, they actually smell like honeysuckle and the bees love them. Here is a baby lemon. Look at this. Can you see it? A baby lemon. So let's get a couple of leaves. Let's see. There's some more buds. I'm trying to get the camera to focus for you. Look at all those lemons. Oh, so pleased. So I have six or seven leaves. I did not want to disturb the tree too much because it's doing so well. And I didn't want to take too many leaves off because you never know when it might disturb a bud. So there are leaves and I'm going to decorate the candles. Now, I'm going to decorate these candles. Let's move our table setting down this way so you can see what I'm planning to do. And don't forget, I have an entire video of a tablescape using the lemon theme. These I bought from Amazon, and I'll link these below as well, but I think you can find a few pieces here and there that have that lemon theme. I believe uh, Home Goods might have it this time of year. If not now, then maybe after the summer starts, you might be able to find them there. But I do have them linked in these glasses as well with um, a link to Amazon, because I have better luck. Just enjoying scrolling through Amazon and finding exactly what I want and have it delivered than to get out and hunt it down. So here we go. We have our lemon candles. Let's see. Move 
this down for you. And we're going to decorate with the lemon leaves around the edges. Once my lemon tree has been around for a while, then I will feel better about taking the leaves off of it. But I'm so babying that lemon tree, hoping that I don't do anything wrong, that um, I was afraid to take too many of the leaves off. And actually, I have a banana tree too. I don't know if you've ever seen that. I might have to go out there at some point and we'll do something with a banana tree. So, I don't have bananas on the banana tree, but I have lemons on the lemon tree. Let's see what this looks like. And here we have it, our lemon theme candles. And you can use any theme you want and make your own candles to coordinate with your table. And you know what? If I can do it, you can do it. And so give it a try. And I would love to hear your comments. So make some comments below. Let me know if you tried it and it's worked for you. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And you know, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. Bye.